Hello, doing a very quick video here to show you the hash rate of the RX 6600 XT mining Ethereum and what settings I'm using inside of HiveOS here. The version of HiveOS is the beta image, so you can go to HiveOS, search for the beta image of HiveOS, and I'm running all the latest updates, which allows me to set overclocks now for the GPU. What I'm currently running is 967 on the core, 610 for memory, 625 for memory controller voltage, 1135 for memory clock, and I found if I pushed it any higher than this memory clock, it would go to the next set of memory timings, lowering down the hash rate. Then for memory voltage, I found 1250 was the lowest. If I go any lower than this, it lowers the hash rate. And uh, SOC frequency, I played around with just a little bit, and I left it at 800. So those are the settings I am running. Hopping over to the miner here, uh, you can see we're getting about 32 mega hash. Again, the settings, 965 on the core. Uh, it turns out to be about 738 megahertz on the SOC frequency, 1134 for memory, and of course the memory temperature is really good on this GPU running 606 for the millivolts on the core voltage. In terms of profitability, this is one of the most efficient GPUs I've ever seen uh, for mining. Obviously it does cost quite a bit, I think I paid... Uh, I'd have to check my receipt, but I paid quite a bit for this GPU. Uh, it gets 32 mega hash at about 66 watts at the wall just for the GPU. So we're getting, what, 48 watts in software. Uh, so when I measured at the wall, we were getting about 66 watts for the GPU, and that's incredibly efficient, even at 12.5 cents per kilowatt hour, only 20 cents per day. So if we do get into a bear market, uh, this GPU will be able to mine for a very, very long time before having to shut off. So that's very exciting. Um, one last thing I want to make a note is that I'm hoping that uh, the uh, undervolting or overclocking tools inside of HiveOS here will allow us to go below 600 millivolts in the future, just because I am pretty confident we can push into the mid 500 millivolt range for 967 megahertz on the core. So that's something I'm excited. Hopefully. Uh, the overclocking tools will allow us to lower the voltages even more, then I'm very confident we can be looking at 60 watts at the wall just for the GPU. So that's, what, 30 mega hash for 60 watts. That's incredible efficiency. That's 2 watts per mega hash. But anyways, I'm going to wrap up my video there. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. And again, this is the beta image of HiveOS, and I'm running the latest patches and drivers.